Hey everybody, we're super excited to announce Metabot, the friendly face of our new LLM powered features in Metabase. With Metabot, you can ask questions in natural language, generate SQL, and more. Let me show you a quick demo. Let's come up here to Ask Metabot or Search, and under Metabot, we'll click on this Ask Me to Do Something or Ask Me a Question. I'm going to go ahead and paste in a question. And let's pretend we got this question over Slack. Someone said, can you show me the payment methods most frequently used in transactions with a fraud score above 75? Well, I can paste this into Metabot. Metabot will generate a query and return this nice bar chart for me. But maybe I have another question. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And I want to say, can you show me the data as a pie chart? Metabot will think about this and then return this to me as a pie chart. It says up here that Metabot isn't perfect and we should always double check results. So if you wanna double check results, you can always go to your editor and you can see what Metabot did behind the scenes in the query builder and the SQL. But I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna go back to the visualization. The last thing that I wanted to point out is we have this little explain this chart Metabot icon. You can always click that for an AI summary. But let's talk about SQL. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say new SQL query. And not only can Metabot generate SQL for us, but it can help debug it for us. So I'm going to paste in a query and I'm going to hit play. You can see here that it's failing. So I'm going to say have Metabot fix it. And if I look at this query, I can see it's really simple. It's just a select star from table. I know that table exists where account type equals checking. I know I'm looking for checking, so I'm not sure why this column is an error. So we'll see what Metabot has to say. Okay, so it tells me what the error is. Ah, that's right, checking is a string value, so I need to add some ticks. Now I can hit play. What if we wanna ask another question? Well, we can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my next question. And that would be, how do I create SQL variables in Metabase? I know I've done it before. I don't remember how to do it. And this is where Metabot is really cool. Metabot has the power of docs built in, so it can look at those docs and provide answers. So we'll see what Metabot says. So Metabot just gave us a nice explanation of how to use SQL variables. Awesome. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is if you ever want to know what Metabot can do, you can always just ask, tell me what you can do, and it will be happy to answer. We are super excited for you to try this out and get your hands on Metabot. Thanks for watching.